Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Japan's defense minister says North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile capabilities have grown to an unprecedented, critical, and imminent level, requiring a, quote, different responses, end quote, to the threat. Now, the minister, Atsinora Odenera, said that this rising threat compels his country to endorse the U.S. view that all options must be considered, which President Donald Trump says includes possible military action. Now, Odenera's comments, made through an interpreter, came at the outset of a so-called trilateral meeting in the Philippines with U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mad Dog Mattis and South Korea's Defense Minister Song Young Moo. Now, each made statements about North Korea before a group of reporters and news cameras, but none took questions. Now, South Korea's Defense Minister Song said that North Korea's behavior is becoming worse and worse. So you have that rhetoric today coming from those two uh, leaders, uh, being Japan and uh, South Korea. You have uh, U.S. nuke bombers being put back on 24-hour alert. You have possibly a thousand uh, Air Force pilots that are now retired being recalled. Um, you got to think, even though I've been claiming all along, and I should say I believe that um, this North Korea scenario is is mostly a distraction. We're being distracted from something else. This hand is telling us about North Korea. The other hand is busy setting up some other sort of military uh, action or some other huge event, maybe here on the mainland United States. But I'm leaving myself open-minded here. I'm leaving myself open to the possibility that something may be about to go down with North Korea. I'm still skeptical. I mean, you see these soldiers, North Korean soldiers, right here in this image, with these packs on their chests with uh, the radiation symbol on them, nuclear symbol. What is that? And these guys, you just have to look at them, and they seem the intensity, and yet the level of being brainwashed by Kim Jong-un, I still claim this is a huge distraction, a major distraction from something, but I am more open now than ever before to the possibility something might go hot over there. It's possible. Possible, possible, possible. Anyway, folks, I'll leave you a link to this. There's much more. And when it comes to links, folks, please, I'd ask you, um, if you haven't done so already, please check out my latest fiction book release, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. And I want to thank all of you who have started reading it on the Kindle Unlimited program, and those of you who have purchased it, I say thank you. I hope it's as good as I am billing it to be. I appreciate your reading, folks. Please leave me some good reviews, if you would, on Amazon. Chaos Finale. What is this about? This is, this is a book about the chaos you are seeing in America right now and the chaos that you're not seeing behind the scenes right now. This is a book about now. If you live in America, you are a character in this story. This is the alternative media. This is the machinations of the deep state. And the deep state, I'm sure, would not want you reading this bit of fiction. This is uh, un uh, things going on in the White House. So much here. If you like to watch videos on YouTube, news reporting like mine, other alternative news sources, this is a book for you. Check it out. It is linked below in Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, and paperback. You can read Chapter 1 for free. No obligation. That's linked below as well. It's called Fake News. Check it out. Also, there's some music linked down there as well, folks. Now, mo I, first, before I get to that, uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led. But most of all, as I'm trying to hurry and get this thing under four minutes, and I probably won't do it, but I've got to tell you, this is a... F uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Oh, my gosh. Folks, these are increasingly treacherous times than the maelstrom that we are living. But do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.